Unlike incandescents, fluorescents are available in a range of correlated color temperatures ranging from 2700 degrees Kelvin to 6300 degrees, which makes them very versatile. For example, higher color temperatures can be used in areas adjacent to windows to minimize the color shift from daylight, while lower color temperatures can be used in conjunction with incandescents to provide efficient lighting that also blends in well. Of all lighting sources, high-intensity discharge lamps are the most efficient. Three classes of HIDs have been developed, each with its own unique color characteristics. The first were the mercury vapor lamps. Like fluorescent lamps, they produce light by exciting mercury, which in this case is more pressurized than in fluorescence. This pressurization muffles the natural resonance of the mercury, distributing more wavelengths across the visible spectrum. Because pressurized mercury produces a distinctly blue light, it correlates to a color temperature of 5,900 degrees Kelvin and has a CRI of 22. In order to improve that, phosphor coatings are added to some models. This has the effect of lowering their color temperature and raising CRI to as much as 52. However, with the advent of metal arc technology, the uses for standard mercury vapor are steadily diminishing. A metal arc lamp is a mercury vapor lamp plus with enhanced spectral power distribution. By adding metal halides to the mercury, more wavelengths can be created and the addition of colors other than blue reduces the CCT and greatly improves CRI ratings. Clear metal halides can achieve CRIs of 65 and phosphor coatings can be added to improve color characteristics still further. The final category of lamps is sodium, both high and low pressure. In terms of color, low pressure sodium lamps can be dealt with quickly. Their CRI is zero. Sodium's visible emission at low pressure is almost pure yellow orange so it's used only in situations where illumination is the only criterion. But sodium at high pressure produces a lamp with a broader spectral distribution. With CCTs of 2100 degrees Kelvin, their emissions are still so concentrated with almost no red that CRIs reach only 22. However, more research is being performed on HPS lamps to further improve their color renderings. While the HID family has the lowest overall color rendering ability, they excel in operating costs. Not only do they cost less to run, but the lamps themselves seldom have to be replaced. Compared to 750 hours of life for a standard incandescent, a super metal arc can last 20,000 hours or more. Because HIDs require a comparatively long time to emit light after starting, they don't work well in situations where lights are turned on and off frequently. But generally, they are the most economic option, and there is a trend to use them in conjunction with other light sources. For example, both metal arcs and HPS lamps are now sometimes used in retail stores in combination with tungsten halogen sources. The best features of each are combined, high efficiency with good color rendering. With a greater awareness of the relationship of light and color, the power of light to affect color appearance, color has become a major concern in lighting design. As more variations on existing sources are developed and new sources are created, the emphasis on its role will continue to expand, driven by the value we place on color, both for its beauty and utility. Since man's beginnings, colors have exerted a powerful influence on us. From Neanderthal paintings on cave walls to modern designers' latest creations. Color even served as a catalyst for a revolution in scientific thought, the ramifications of which still govern our methods for creating and displaying it. Because, as we've seen, color is not intrinsic to the world outside us, but is based on three different elements, the light source, 
which emit certain wavelengths of energy, the objects around us which absorb, modify, and re-radiate that energy, and we human observers who use that energy to see. Perhaps one of the most fascinating aspects of this knowledge is that color is a uniquely human experience.